We are glad to have you back on the Huge Experiment channel. News about the total eclipse that will occur in North America on April 8, 2024 is becoming increasingly intriguing and frightening. But the truth is that the total solar eclipse on April 8, 2024 is part of a larger set of celestial events that seem to coincide with earthly events, seriously events of potentially biblical proportions. Now let me ask you this, have you ever thought if current events are aligned with biblical prophecies? Imagine an afternoon turning into night for about four minutes, birds and insects silent in the darkness, and nocturnal animals starting to move. This is the striking scenario of a total solar eclipse, a rare event that is about to occur. This eclipse is more than just an astronomical phenomenon, with a two-decade wait until the next one. Some question, could this event be more than a miracle incident? Could it be a final warning? Certainly. Are there some signs that we are living in a time when biblical prophecies are coming true? When Jesus warned us about the coming of the Son of Man, he told us in Luke chapter 21, verse 25, there will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars, and on the earth distress of nations, with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring. With that in mind, I want you to look at this article. It says there is a total solar eclipse coming soon. A rare celestial event is just a few months away on April 8th. The afternoon will turn into night for about four minutes from northern Mexico to New England. The air will suddenly become colder, birds and insects will fall silent in the darkness, the confused plants will decrease their food production, and nocturnal animals such as owls and bats will start to move. These are the signs of a total solar eclipse when the moon temporarily blocks all sunlight in a strip of land. But this year's total eclipse is special because we may not see another one for another two decades. Now for a moment, there may be two perspectives on this. There will be those interested in science who will say this is a great event in a lifetime spectacle. And then the other perspective will be from those studying biblical prophecies, those who are reading the Bible and watching for signs. And this group of people will look at this. They say the pattern of two solar eclipses forming an X over the United States also happened in the early 1800s. The first solar eclipse occurred on June 16, 1806, with the second completing an X on September 17, 1811. The following quote comes from the New Madrid, Missouri website. The New Madrid earthquakes were the biggest earthquakes in American history. They occurred in the central Mississippi Valley but were felt as far away as New York and Montreal and Washington. President James Madison and his wife Dolly felt them at the White House. Church bells rang in Boston from December 16, 1811 to March 1812. There were more than 2,000 earthquakes in the Midwest and between 6,000 to 10,000 earthquakes in the Missouri Boot Hill where New Madrid is located near the junction of the Ohio and Mississippi rivers. No world tour lasted as long or produced as much evidence of damage as the Madrid earthquakes. Three of the earthquakes are on the list of America's largest earthquakes, the first on December 16, 1811, with a magnitude of 8. One on the Richter scale, the second on January 23, 1812 at 7. 8, and the third on February 7, 1812, with up to 8.8 .8 in magnitude. Could the conclusion of an X in the central section of the United States by the April 8, 2014 eclipse point to another catastrophe in the following months? During my journey, I understood that the divine calendar differs from the common calendar we currently follow. I realized that the secret dates given by God to his people differ from the holidays instituted by the Gentile Roman Church. These festive events are marked by grandeur centered on Christ, have a prophetic nature, and bring about practical transformation. In short, they completely changed my life as well as the lives of my family and countless believers around the world who are receptive to what God communicates to His Church. God's prophetic days constitute the foundation of all prophecy. They represent the true clock that gives perfect rhythm to all creation. Trying to understand prophecy without considering this calendar is like. Now, otherwise, write coincidence. And if you're unsure, then write undecided. The patterns you're about to witness in this brief video and how they align with the Hebrew calendar of the Bible are truly extraordinary. If you are open to listening, you are likely to be prompted to specific action. Let's begin. First of all, I want to express my belief that the dog and make war is correlated with these rare solar eclipses that we are witnessing. Did you know that this alignment has occurred only twice in history? Well, here's where the story gets even more interesting. Keep an eye on these constellations as they will have important again regarding the 2024 eclipse. Chapter 12 of Revelation warns us about the conflict between the Antichrist, also known as the Beast, and the Saints, as well as the rebirth of Israel and Jerusalem as a nation. 
Both signs served as a serious warning to the United States regarding Israel as regarding the division of the land three and a two years later, symbolizing how this division may occur with the Antichrist from August 2017 to January 28, 2020, President Donald Trump proposed the so-called deal of the century known as peace to prosperity. He advocated for a two-state solution, granting 70% of the land of Israel, including the eastern half of Jerusalem, to the Palestinians, ancient Philistines and historical enemies of Israel. Will the creation of a Palestinian state three months later, the pandemic struck, causing global devastation? This was followed by significant economic hardships, civil unrest, confrontations with Russia, and the loss of leadership of both Netanyahu and Trump in 2020. Surprisingly, instead of witnessing the signs of the four horsemen as expected, we saw these signs occurring in reverse order. Additionally, as a result of these events we saw the emerging. Fast forward to April 8, 2024, seven years after the initial eclipse in August 2017, another eclipse is predicted to occur. This time, it will not only be visible across the United States, but its path of totality will form a significant X. This constellation is associated with the Lion of Judah, representing Jesus. So what does all this mean in biblical prophecy? The number seven often symbolizes completeness, indicating the end of a cycle. In this context, it refers to the conclusion of the 70 weeks of judgment of Israel, represented by cycles of seven years. This eclipse is not necessarily a warning about future events, but rather a reflection of past events connected with the future. The X shape formed by the eclipse resembles the Hebrew letter Tav, which symbolizes a mark or seal. This letter is significant as it is used only twice in the Bible, including in Ezekiel chapter 9, where it represents a protective seal placed upon those who lament over the sins of the first Jewish temple before its destruction by Babylon. Similarly, it echoes the marking of doorposts during the first Passover in Exodus, foreshadowing the mark of the beast and the protective seal over the one, double four, triple zero witnesses during the seven-year tribulation period. Therefore, the X-shaped mark in the United States signifies both protection and judgment, especially regarding the division of the land of Israel. So with all this in mind as children of God, what do we do? What do we do with all this? Well, once again, the Bible says in Luke chapter 21, verses 25 to 27, and there will be strange signs in the sun and stars and here on earth, the nations will be in turmoil, perplexed by the roaring seas and strange times. People will be terrified at what they see coming up on the earth, for the powers in the heavens will be shaken. Then at last they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. The Bible has given us all this information so that we can be prepared, not with fear, not terrified, but prepared. Biblical prophecy is a puzzle apostle with many different pieces, and all of them are clear in the Bible. And here are some of the pieces we need to watch. The increase of deception, the increase of doctrines, wars and rumors of wars, to see the love of many growing cold, earthquakes, pestilence and scores of supernatural signs in the sun, moon and star.